All right, Steve here, Blossom Racing, coming to you with another video. This video is going to be all about measuring the bore of your engine. Uh, the reason for this video is um, uh, when you give us a call, you need a piston. If you're going to go back to the exact same piston that you already have in your motor, chances are the piston has a part number on it. Um, don't measure the piston. Um, the reason why is these pistons are tapered and after you run them and they get 60, 70, 80 runs on them, the pistons start to shrink. So your measurement of the piston is not going to be accurate. So if you have a motor and you need a new piston for it, either use the part number on the old piston. We can duplicate that piston and ship you that one. Or if your bore is wore out, uh, we can up you to the next size piston. We have. We have over 80 different piston numbers, uh, piston sizes here in stock at Blossom Racing. Um, so most of the time we can accommodate what you need for a piston. So, um, but the absolute best way or one of the ways, you know, is the part number off the piston. Sometimes the part number gets cut off the top of the piston. Um, so sometimes you don't have a part number. So this is what you're going to have to do when you don't have a part number. The crudest way to do this, but it's not extremely accurate. Okay. So that way is with a pair of calipers. So you just take the calipers um clean them run your fingers through them make sure there's no gunk in there uh, make sure they're zeroed out we're at zero 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 take your block you're going to take your inside diameter measure uh points on the calipers run them right down into the bore just like that and then just kind of wiggle the calipers back and forth up and down until you get a number and I am getting 3.390 on these calipers. Um, so there's about what I, what I had 3.390 right there. So that's what I measured. This bore actually measures 3.393. So with these calipers, I got close, but I didn't get it 100% accurate. If you wanted 100% accurate, I'm going to endorse some tools here. You got to get one of these. This is a bore gauge, a uh, cylinder gauge. This one's by Fowler. Um, not a very expensive one. Um, they do have. Uh, really expensive ones hundreds of dollars that measure like tenths so these don't quite go down to tenths um but you can get ones like that don't really need them um so you can get one of these this is by fowler so um it's easy when you get these uh they they it comes in a kit You'll get a whole bunch of uh, these little pins. They're all different sizes for different size cylinders. Uh, you just uh, put the pin in. Sometimes you can make shims too that go uh, back here to uh, get a little bit different size. Um, but you just basically do that. Put your pin in. This isn't the right size for this bore. But then you just set it down in the bore like that. Turn it and then just watch your gauge up here. And like when it hits uh, the biggest number and it stops, you just turn, 
turn the face of your gauge, your, your numbers, your dial numbers, over to where your pin is. So right there, zero. So you just turn that to zero, and then you take this, clamp this down very gently into a vise. Um, and then the next tool that you're going to need is a pair of micrometers. So take your mic. This is a three to four mic. Um, this is also by Fowler. Um, but you take that, and when this is clamped in the vise, you're going to put it right there and this piece will touch that piece you know touch they'll touch there and then just bring your dial to zero and then look at your mic and it'll tell you what size your bore is um, hopefully hopefully you guys follow that i didn't demonstrate it too well visually um, but uh, take your take your bore mic run it in here Find your uh, biggest point, take your dial, run that to zero while you're in there, kind of wiggle it back and forth, make sure you're getting the, the highest point of that dial. Um, crank it to the zero, clamp this down in the vise right here. Um, let me clamp it in a vise so I can show you. Very gently, you know, you don't want to clamp it hard. You clamp it too hard, you're gonna bend that tube. So let me take the camera and swing it over. You can see it. I got it uh, clamped down into the vise. And then you just come in with your micrometers right here and then screw this part in until it pushes the pin down in and you get the dial down to zero. Once you get there, look at your micrometers. And that will tell you what size your bore is. That is the best, most accurate way to measure a bore. Calipers are crude. Calipers get as close. Sometimes the calipers get it done. Sometimes they do not. Um, also, with your, with your bore gauge, you can run down in there front to back, start at the bottom, work your way up, uh, and then switch side to side. Um, note what number it is. That'll tell you if you're out around. It'll tell you if you've got dimples, uh, if you've got wear marks um, in your cylinder. Basically, you want a, a, a circular bore. You don't want an egg-shaped. Um, Otherwise, uh, you'll have problems later on with ring sealing, uh, so on and so forth. So, so pretty much when you call us up to order a piston, just to wrap this video up, when you call us up to order a piston, so either we need a part number, um, you know, also your compression height or pin height, which is a video that I did the other day. Um, we'll need your your part number, your compression height, and then we can either match the piston to the same size or we can go up up to the next size piston. Um, you know, we can work with you a lot better that way. Um, otherwise, uh, get yourself a bore mic, pair of micrometers, pair of calipers, and uh, measure out your bore. Uh, a lot of machine shops have these because it's the... It's not all that they're used for. They use those bore mics for a lot of other things rather than just these engines. But um, a lot of machine shops will carry them. So if you got a buddy that has, has some of these tools, just take your block to them, have them measure it, and have them tell you what size bore you have. And then that way we can uh, uh, be a lot better at serving you and, and getting you the correct piston so we're not shipping pistons back and forth uh, because we keep sending you the wrong size, um, you know, the wrong compression height and pin height. So um, hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, definitely helps us out because when you call us, you're going to be a lot more knowledgeable and be able to say, hey, this is what I need. And we'll go, yeah, we got that. And uh, we'll get it going to you. So uh, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. I have a few uh, people that are subscribed. I have a lot of likes, a lot of views. Um, so help us out. Help us get the word out. Share these videos. Give them to your friends. Let your friends watch them. Um, and uh, that's what we're here for, just to help you guys out. So you guys have a great day and take care. God bless you guys.